What's going on guys? Stale fish from Urban Bassers here. Got off work early today, came home. I ordered some stuff from uh, Tackle Warehouse and man, it came quick. It came two days, less than two days. So I uh, got this box here. Gonna do a little unboxing. I don't do many unboxings, so. Urban Bass Layers. Let's see what's in this box. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. But... Get my camera from my head so I don't uh... Can't drop it. Now, they have a bait in here that I bought. It's on clearance. And for the size of the bait, I'm kind of surprised that I got it from the price of it. I only paid 10 bucks for the bait. When you see the size of this thing, you're going to be like, wow. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, look at that thing. Savage Gear Line Through. It's a Line Through 3D Trout. It's a foot long. That's 12 inches long, man. Jeez. I know exactly where I'm taking that to throw it. That thing's going, going with me. Got me some new glasses. Brand new fish gripper. Berkeley. This is a gripper, and it's a scale also. This thing's pretty fucking badass. I'm gonna go test that out. Booyah, a one knocker. It's a uh, lipless crankbait. I got it in the gold and silver color. It's got a one knocker in there. In other words, it's got one. Oh, yeah. It's just got one big ball in there that knocks back and forth instead of like this little guy, the Yozuri I got. A little smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's all right. Awesome color. Notice the difference in the sound. That one knocker. I hear a lot of stuff about these one knockers. People catch their personal best on those. So, so I got the Yozuri. Little rattling vibe. Sinking. Pretty cool. And then uh, what else we got here? Oh man, that thing's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Wow, Jackal. That is awesome. The color on this thing is amazing. I just want to open it so you can see the color on that. It's kind of tough to see. It's all chartreuse on the bottom, clear. It goes like a pinkish purplish, and then it's like dark purple on top. That was awesome. Get the Kytex. Big Kytex 5.8s. Swim Impacts. Say, I'm supposed to get a sticker in there too. Tackle Warehouse. Pretty cool. First time I bought anything from Tackle Warehouse. Seems pretty good. Now, these are the same glasses that I had bought. I always buy the same pair of glasses. They're just pretty good. Now, I used to sell these at Walmart and I could get them for five bucks. But these are 15. They stopped selling them at Walmart, but that's all right. New pair of fishing glasses. Thought they were supposed to be. One more thing in here, and I'm not seeing it. No order list. I think I might have taken it off. Yeah. So that's, that's what I got. I got some owner beast hooks, but I took them off the list, so I'm going to order those next time. But, I mean, look at this guy. I only paid 13 bucks for this thing. Savage Gear. Hey, no, these things are like 50 bucks a piece. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of this compared to the uh, 5.8 inch Kytex. I mean... And people will say, oh, you know, you can't catch a big fish on that. You don't think you can catch a big fish on that? You're out of your mind. 
I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna toss it certain places I know where they got the big fish. This is the time to do it. I'm trying to get out to a certain spot that I know there's some really big fish. And I'm gonna go throw this thing, see what I can do. It's a line through, so the line comes through the top of the head and you're supposed to tie one of these hooks onto the bottom of it. But I have a way I'm gonna hook it, I'm gonna pull the line through, hook it onto this hook, hook that hook into the bottom of the bait, and then I'm gonna tie a secondary line to the top with the treble hook on the top. That way I can run up the I can run this bait down low and drag it like a huddle stand so I can this hook will be up in the bait, this hook will be on top, like a stinger hook. So I think I can get that going. Only 13 bucks for this, man. I might buy another one. Because I know there's going to be that time in that place where I go to a certain fishery. And there's going to be that big fish that's going to fucking push me. Yep. Push me to the limits. Here we go, man. A little, little unboxing. Can't wait to get this thing dialed in. Berkeley Fish Grip. I got one owner beast hook and a few other things that I may use these as trailers on, but the owner beast hooks are just badass. I don't know, I, I think I took it off the list so I could uh, pass the shipping. So I didn't want the shipping to go over, but whatever. All good. Got this. Oh man, I can't wait to use this in a certain pond I go to. That's going to be deadly. Urban Bass Layers here. 2017 coming to an end. This guy's going out and I'm probably going to fish this tomorrow. Jackal Rearrange. Um, the guys from Tactical Bass and we're talking about... I'm taking this guy out. I wanted to take it out earlier. Guys from Tactical Bass and that I watch all the time. I get all my information that I, I fish. It comes from them. I used to watch a bunch of other different people on their videos and stuff, but I mean, tactical bass is just... Now he said, oh, I see what he's talking about. There's a magnet in there. That's a magnet, and there's little balls. And the magnet, when you cast this, supposedly shifts. So the magnet will shift, and... Yeah, pretty crazy. It looks amazing the paint job I don't know if you can see that flash on that in clear water situations this thing's gonna excel and we got these ponds that we're trying to catch these big fish out of and the water's like crystal clear man that thing looks badass definitely worth the couple of bucks I spent on that all right that looks like it Pretty cool. Little Yozuri. Now the one that my buddy caught his nine pounder on. Uh, same exact bait as this. Except it was a size bigger. And Tackle Warehouse didn't have the size bigger. So I just went ahead and got this one. Because, I mean. The color on this thing is just awesome. These lipless crankbaits will catch fish when nothing else will. And the same thing with this guy right here. This is a big fish bait. This may look like a small bait, but this is a big fish bait also. You'll catch real big fish on this thing. Man, those hooks are sharp. It's got the orange belly, silver sides with the flash, and a green and black top. That is badass. The fish usually will bite these because they just get they get irritated with that noise. Fish don't have ears, but what they have is they have vibration. Uh, they have a lateral line down the side of the fish, and they can feel everything that goes by them. So when this goes by and it's making that noise, they're feeling all that vibration, and it pisses them off, and they just want to kill it, whatever it is. They don't care. So there we go. Like warehouse. I'm gonna get my uh, stuff together. 
possibly go out and fish a couple hours that I got today. Got one more week till the end of the uh, year. Well, a little bit more than that, but I'll try to catch a biggest fish of the year before the year's over. Don't know if I can do it, but I'm gonna try. Gotta try. All right, Urban Bass Layers 2017 coming to an end. Over and out.